Hello, hello. Welcome back to AVA. We are going to be getting into chapter 49, The Pups Who Transcended Old Tradition. Legosi and Jack, best friends since childhood. This is the story of how they met. Nice. In the middle of world history class, this war originally started from a dispute between the horse family and the weasel family. Eventually, the carnivores and herbivores from all over the world got involved in a world war. Who knows how many years it's been since this war started? Anyone? Oh, so I guess this is from when they were younger. They even have their own, like, history book. That's pretty dope. Hmm. Dumb kids. Okay. Okay, Jack. Stand up and tell the class. 90 years ago. The war only lasted for one year. Correct. I'm glad you know. I know about it, alright. Oh, that's interesting. Aw, Jack looks adorable. You know, I keep forgetting Jack is a golden retriever. Like, okay, so what do we know about golden retrievers? They're pretty damn smart dogs, right? Because, hold on, let me see if I can see it. Ah, eh, screw it, I won't get into it now. But I just wonder, I'm wondering about something. Okay, so continuing on. That's interesting how there was a war between them 90 years ago. Continuing on. The, I'm Jack, the Labrador, the Labrador Retriever, age 7. That war brought upon a new generation of cats and dogs. Interesting. We were made to abandon our carnivorous belligerence and have more intelligence. That's what I was going to talk about. Okay, I didn't think he would, but he did. <laughs> Freaking love beast stars. Okay, so he brought it up before I did. Right? I bet you're happy to be the teacher's pet again. Okay, so... Okay, so I was gonna say it's interesting how... Because I, I was wondering. Because we know in the RRO, in real life, dogs were pretty much domesticated. And their, and their, like, traits, their violent traits were pretty much bred out of them. Like, in the orig originally, they descended from wolves, right? Correct. So, people back in the day, they actually formed, they actually domesticated wolves. You know, and kept breeding them and breeding them for traits that they found desirable. And that's how we got different species of dog right golden retrievers high intelligence very loyal sociable uh very low temperament right soft mouth soft mouth so they don't injure game when you uh you know send them hunting so they're very gentle creatures but i guess what's being uh stressed here is jack's intelligence right now so i'm wondering how that works in their world because we did it interesting because i wonder what the perception is if you like in this world when you compare legacy to jack i would believe jack would be favored more over legacy because you know the prejudice of uh of a of a dog being less dangerous than a wolf which is kind of fucked actually because legacy is quite gentle actually So that's just, that's just social bias right there. I don't want any more wars to happen. It was just a coincidence. Liar. You got a 100 in that last test. I wish I was artificial. I'd have a good noggin from the day I was born. Ooh. But we're not like you. We're the genuine article. Seeing as you don't need to work hard to get grades, you could make yourself useful to us and help us cheat. Well, I don't know. Okay, so Jack keeps smiling, right? And I like how they're bringing up Jack's status, right? They're calling him fake, artificial, he's not real, right? Because dogs have a long descent. There are no humans in this world, right? So... Who domesticate who domesticated the dogs? Did they domesticate themselves? I wouldn't think so because the only creature that really domesticates themselves is a cat. The common house cat domesticates themselves and just kind of settle with humans based on mutual like a mutual need, right? So, 
That's an interesting question. So how did Jack, well, not Jack in particular, but how do dogs, how did they get to be the way they are in this world? Because I know the, there's a, they they look down upon like different, inter the mixing of blood, right? Interracial species and whatnot. Because, uh, let's see. Nah, I lost my train of thought. You know what? I'll probably just get back to that later. I just find that interesting. Because the genetic... Because there are different breeds of dog, right? So that's probably why they're calling them artificial. Where, oh, that must be in Legosy. But we have Legosy over here, who's a purebred wolf, who Jack is descended from right over here. So that's probably what they mean. I'm not alone, but... Hey... Hey, are you listening to me? Let's play dodgeball. Yeah, there's someone out there who's even more alone than I am. Ugh, he's here again. Gross. Oh, he's a great wolf, isn't he? What's his name again? I hear he always goes to the courtyard to chant curse spells. Oh, really? Apparently, he cursed the whole class. Oh, man. Ah, uh, so even now, even though that they're kids, Legos, he's <laughs> kind of in his shell. He's like a recluse. Well, he is a wolf. Let's stay away from him. Yeah, a wolf. Jack's curious. Hey, what are you doing? Don't you want to play with everyone? Legos he? He looks shocked by that. Like, he knows my name? He has dirt on him. I know your name. We live close to each other. Uh, you got dirt on your face. Wipes it off and just leaves. It's now or never. He's not chanting curse spells. He's just playing with the sand like everyone else. I need to talk to him. Hey, why are you running from me? Why? Are you trying to be alone? Can't catch up. He's too fast. Why does Jack... Why is Jack so fixated on Leo C? He needs to talk to him. Why? I need to talk to him because... He falls. A wolf like you can be so much more. So why? You're weird. You're weird. It hurts. Legosy notices that he's not smiling. Okay. Legosy says it first. But if we go back, compare, compare Jack's expression then to now. That Jack is always smiling and putting... I guess this is the way Jack puts up a front. Like... They're clearly talking down to him and trying to bully him into, like, helping them cheat and stuff. Calling him fake and artificial and stuff like that. But Jack smiles here. I guess that's his coping mechanism, right? But when we get to Legosy, characters expose themselves. This is Jack being vulnerable here, right? And I'm guessing, you know, rules of good writing... What these guys said back here about Jack being fake and artificial are going to come back here. Because, you know, Legosy's perception, the perception that the class has of Legosy is he's weird. And they call them gross, too. Which I find strange. Because from what we've seen when they get older, Grey Wolves are actually, like, looked upon as being quite beautiful. But, you know, these are kids. They're shitheads, so... And when Jack says here, a wolf like you can be so much more. But he's calling him weird, though. Why is he calling Jack weird? No, no, no. Jack is calling Legacy weird. Alright, we've seen, we've heard that before. What do we hear that? We heard it from Louis, right? Because, compared to Juno, right? Who's very proud of being a carnivore. She's, she was, um, she wasn't like this in the beginning. She's a little bit more meek, but now she's much more sociable, and she's using her the she's using what she was born as, you know, the, her gift of being a beautiful wolf, to her advantage to secure influence, right? But Legosy, he's not sociable at all, from what we see right here. He's not using what he was born as because I wonder how Jack views Legosy. Let's see. 
of course not. Okay, so you're not smiling, and Jack's like, of course not. I'm mad. This is the first time I've ever talked to a wolf. But I think I'd be... But I didn't think I'd be so jealous of you. Are you jealous? Dogs were made to be a refined version of wolves. Yep. You're my ancestor. Mm-hmm. This is the... Pre this is like... <laughs> the refined versus the refined yet artificial versus the raw and natural right here dogs don't have the belligerence or strength that wolves have we were artificially made to specialize in intelligence now when he says artificially made I'm wondering if this occurred cuz mind you this chapter just this chapter opened up with emphasis on a war that happened 90 years ago, right? So I'm wondering if it was then that they decided to um to breed like wolves that special that had high intelligence to create offspring that specialized in that that specialized in intelligence in certain skills. I wonder if this ha this occurred during a war of some kind. Because if if that if the war wasn't important in my opinion, they wouldn't have brought it up, like, at all. They could have been teaching, like, alphabets or something, but no, they started off with the war. So I'm wondering if that's going to be important to the Beastars mythos. And add, uh, onto their war, their, uh, world building. So that's interesting. So now... artificially made to specialize in, in intelligence so if that's the case whose idea was that artificially made I wonder anyway Legosi's paw is really big contrary to his body it's proof that his body will continue to grow bigger it's a genuine paw now compare that to mine it looks like it's filled with stuffing aww our ancestors really all that great? Hmm? I don't want any bit of ability. I don't want any bit of belligerence or strength. I'm jealous of you. What? Oh, what's this? Looks like fun. The original is facing off with the artificial. Okay, sh shit ass kids. So it's interesting seeing Legos he like this. I, I wonder why he's like this, even as a kid. He says he doesn't want any any type of belligerence or strength whatsoever. And he's jealous of Jack. Why is he jealous of Jack? Because Jack is... Even now, Jack is pretty sociable from what he's seen. He has no problem interacting with his classmates. In fact, I would figure since he's a dog, he's actually looked looked upon favorably. Whereas we see Legosi, who's uh, not... Who's looked upon with, like... I don't know, disapproval, I guess. Which is kind of strange. Coming from his peers. Aw, oh, you guys, you saw us? See see how Jack was vulnerable at first? He actually showed himself being sad around Lego, so he's opening up to someone he admires. We come back here, and Jack puts on this, this front, this vacate. He starts smiling again. They grab him and he's like, and you stand here, Legosi. Jack stands here. He's been acting as the teacher's pet. He thinks he's smarter than us. You're a wolf and you ought to teach him a lesson. L Legosi? This is a fight between the original and the artificial. Oh man, this is gonna be great. Go, Legosi, get him. Teach him what real fear feels like. This is so middle school. I mean, this is kindergarten for them, I'm pretty sure, but that's... That's pretty... That's messed up, but this happens all the time. It really does. No, 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 there's context, but... Kids fighting? Yeah. He's like, what's happening? Hey, what are you doing dawdling for, Legosi? He beat the artificial. Artificial? Ar oh, they're cheering him on. Artificial, artificial. That's fucking mean. And Jack is smiling. He's like, yeah, this is all my fault. This is such a fix, huh? What should I do? I've been wondering this ever since I first saw you. The Lego she's asking that. If you don't like this, then get mad. Why are you smiling? Thank you. Even as a kid, Lego C notices this. He's like, okay, so 
They're calling Jack fake right now. That's what artificial is. They're calling him fake, fake, fake. Look how Jack su constantly suppresses his emotions and his feelings, right? He doesn't let on to really how he's feeling. Lego he catches on to this because for the f I'm guessing for the first time, Jack opened up to Lego C and actually showed him how he really felt, which is really sad on the inside. Because Lego C, sure, he gets a lot of flack for being a wolf, right? A gray wolf, you know, the original, but at least he's himself, right? And Jack's entire, like, person is based is kind of like I guess his ego is like I could never be this I can never be natural you know I could never be pure like a wolf so let's see how Jack responds to that because I can't get because I can't get mad not me you don't know what it's like to be a dog why don't you get mad I'm a dog. At times like this, the only thing I can do is smile. Are you blaming your faults on your species? Aren't you supposed to be a refined version of my species? Ah, okay. I know what he's doing here. L Kid Legosi is doing what, what he's always done. He's actually helping Jack right now. I like the conflict between these two. Sure, he's been called fake, but Jack is actually... Let's see, how do I describe it? Ah, since Jack has been called fake, he's actually... He's he's blaming... He's not taking responsibility for how he feels, right? Because I have a reason. I have a, I have a interesting reason why. Because the public perception is... Dogs are always happy. Dogs can't get sad. Dogs are supposed to be sociable. They're supposed to be loyal. I'm pretty sure the term man's best friend doesn't exist in this world in this world, but you know they're not supposed to get mad or sad. They're just supposed to be obedient and stuff like that, right? And Legosy calls him out on it. He's like You know how Le you notice how Legosy said he doesn't care about history or whatever like that? Even here Legosy's like well, you're not just a dog, right? You're your own person at this point. This is how I'm interpreting it interpreting it as he's probably saying you're your own person don't blame your species right for how you feel <laughs> and aren't you supposed to be a refined version of me right oh, okay and jack actually loses his shit right here and dives like goes he notice how it strikes a chord with jack and he's the first to dive and go in jack makes the makes the first move i don't want to be lectured by an ignorant wolf you have everything that i don't no, I don't. I'm seven years. I'm <laughs> in my seven years of life. I've never been a. I've never. Ah, there's never been a single time that I was glad to be born a wolf. I wonder why that is. It's weird coming from young Legosi because he's only seven years old. Why is he not glad to be born a wolf? What's happening at home? That's my question. Because Legosi's worldview right now, it has to be shaped by something. And I don't understand why he's not happy to be a wolf. I wonder if it's the expectation of him. Of what that means to be a wolf? Let's see. What what does that what does that have to do with anything? Just listen to me. No, why don't you listen to to my woes of being a dog? I'll listen, alright, but I won't pat you on the back. Hey, what are you two doing? Stop this nonsense and make up. Is that okay? Don't ask me. What's the deal with this wolf? When the teacher's done lecturing us, we're gonna go arm wrestle and then we're gonna have a race. You're pretty belligerent. He's such a weirdo. I need to talk to him, otherwise I won't be able to understand him. When all this is done, I'm going to tell him to hang out with me. It was a messy quarrel that would eventually lead to their irreplaceable friendship. I love this. I love how Jack is actually socializing. Sociable Jack is actually socializing Legosy right now. He's making Legosy a little bit more sociable and actually being there for him right now as a friend. Because notice how Legosy was alone in the beginning. He didn't have anyone. Jack is his first friend. And this is how it starts. 
like and it's built on respect too because jack respects legosi for being a wolf being the wolf that he was born as and you know i don't really know why legosi respects jack though maybe it's because it's because jack is something he's not he's viewed as something that's refined and less threatening you know because Legolas, he hates those traits about himself. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like that he has sharp claws and fangs and, you know, the, the perception that comes with that. And people are afraid of him. So I just find it interesting how these two's friendship just got started. It's interesting to see this now from a young Jack. I want to I wanna hear more about older Jack. I want to I wanna hear his perception now that he's older. Hmm. So... That was the chapter. That's chapter 49. <laughs> I can't wait to get to chapter 50. We are halfway there. Almost 100 chapters in. This is so fun to do. If you like what you hear, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. You know, do your thing. And I will see you then in chapter 50.